Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alex and today we're watching Fairy Tale 100 Years Quest episode 4. We are literally in the middle of a really tough battle. Our fairy tale team A has been absolutely beaten up. To make matters worse, Eza's strength has been completely cut and she now became a slave. And by the look of it, she's going to become a worse slave to the Dragon's Eater Guild, who seem to be extremely powerful. To make it even more worse, the white-haired girl Toka is the white mage who stole water god dragon's power and she's in fairy tale totally messing with juvia and gadgil and she's after natsu she wants to embrace him she thinks that natsu is her sweetheart but she also mentioned that she wants natsu to burn her with his fire and my suspicion is that this it has something to do with the eternal natsu dragnail or something that connects natsu to zeref his brother it's so crazy i have no idea what's going to happen but i'm gonna keep the fingers crossed for our hero that they are going to get up and totally smack those enemies and then quickly head back to her fairy tale and as always it would be nice if you could like or subscribe so my video pops up in your feed it would be delightful to reach 3000 subscribers can't wait to celebrate it but for now let's tune in I will she react to it though Hi? Is that really how she's going to react? そう。あれは1年ちょっと前。お前のことは知っている does she have a split personality? She <gasps> knows that too. That's jealous for you. More than hundred. She's a serial killer. Oh gosh. She's good at acting clueless, if I'm being honest with you. <gasps> Luxus! Damn. Luxus. After all, she's a fairy tale member now. Well, that's a bit silly, Lexus. She's a bloody serial killer. Oh. Yeah, but you've got to have brains, Lexus. Come on. <sighs> that conversation is not going well. <sighs> no. I can't stand this. <sighs> I don't even want to look at this, it's just so bad. <sighs> you sick woman. Terrible taste, honestly. I know that Erza is going to fight that. Them two on the ship? That's terrible. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, but they have total seasickness. <sighs> Gosh, wait until Erza is free from that horrible spell of yours. I mean, I hope that's going to happen. And how did she manage to get a boat? 
And who might that be? Brandish? It's got to be her. She, she's the one that has this power. Aww. <laughs> she's so terrified of her now. <laughs> <laughs> How is she even moving that boat? She doesn't resent her. Maybe she could help her then. あんたを見かけた時同じ目的かと思ったけど違うよね。Why would you look for Aquarius's key? You are not Oh, maybe she just wanted to give her a clue. Aquarius But why? You don't have celestial magic. I'm sure Aquarius would understand. <laughs> Fun service yet again. <laughs> well, Shima. <laughs> She's quite um, damaged from the fight, if I'm being honest with you. If this was according to manga, she should be full of cuts and blood stains. But for some reason, the animator decided to withhold from it. Oh, looks like Jalal ma must have uh, backed off. Well, Elsa has some different problems now. Oh, Elsa, as honorable as ever. Hypnosis. Yes, I knew it. After all, it's not the first time she's done it. I think in her fight with Midnight, she's done something similar. I might be wrong. They're on a ship. But didn't Wendy have some sort of spell that would allow them to... Um... And... What? What is that? An island! So she did help them. Perfect. Now they can counter attack. <laughs> Go on in. <laughs> Time to get serious. That's too easy. <laughs> Go on, Natsu. <laughs> Wind versus Ash. He totally landed that hit! Amazing! Oh, but that guy? Mm. That's bad news. I can't fall for that. He's laxes into white haired chicks. A little hint. Now that's not a coincidence. She's totally playing with 
瞬笑いギルドの一員としてお前は守るだがお前もギルドの一員として話しておくべきことはねえ<笑> Finally, Laxus, I knew you were not dumb ギルドを危険にさらすようなことを隠してるんじゃもう家族じゃいられねえぞ今日はもう帰りますプカッシュ not gonna tell them <laughs> Come on in! Ah, oh, just shut up. Oh, yes, and she will. She's so horrible. Yeah, right. <laughs> What is she's going to steal his powers? Finally revealing her true colors. <laughs> Although she doesn't have many colors, it's just white. So that's what her cult is about. Exactly, you see your killer. Even even Joel cannot stop her. What's happening? So she. She does indeed have a split personality. <laughs> it's cold we're dealing with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you know that Erza has limitless amount of weapons? <laughs> nice. Wow. I love when this dragon falls. Oh dear. Of a ricochet, <laughs> but now isn't this interesting? Toka has either a split personality or there are two different souls in one body. The fact that she's able to regain her consciousness and try to stop the actual evil self tells me that whoever is in her body or whoever possessed her hasn't been there for long. And why Toka from all the people? Why is she suffering from that problem? Or why is she possessed by the evil white mage? I don't know. But 
Seeing Erza regaining her strength and fighting back the dragon eater, definitely that was worth it. That was definitely worth waiting. Again, I'm quite surprised that Jellal didn't even think about defending himself. It's not like Toka walked there to have a cup of tea with him, right? Surely he knew that. And for some reason, he just allowed her to almost completely drain his power and steal his abilities. It's crazy. Imagine if Gajal didn't appear. I'm just glad that Lexus wasn't somewhere near to interfere. But the fact that even Lexus was a little bit suspicious of her, that's really good. Maybe he's actually feeling that something is not right. After all, dragon slayers have sense of have like superior sense of smell, so maybe that's something he picked on like a strange strength scent strange scent on Toka, a scent of different body, perhaps different soul. I really don't know. I might be exaggerating, but anyways. Toka is captured. But I don't think they will be able to keep her contained for long. Meanwhile, dragon eaters are getting a whooping. I'm really happy that Brandish was able to help Lucy and her party despite saying, oh, I don't want to help you guys. But the fact that Brandish is after Aquarius Key, maybe she wants to be friends with Aquarius. I don't know. But she's definitely not a celestial mage, right? Can she learn celestial magic? But what for? Just to be friends with... <laughs> Aquarius at so strange. The fact that Lucy with a totally broken heart had to decide between Aquarius and her friends, I wouldn't want to be in her position. We know that Aquarius is like her best friend since childhood. The first Zodiac, the first Zodiac celestial spirit, right? So that was really sad. But I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed for Lucy that she will find Aquarius key somehow and Aquarius will return to her so they can be friends again. And as always, thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. If you are new to it, a like and subscribe would really help as I have a very small audience at the moment. If you're interested in watching my reactions early released in full opacity and length, the link to my Patreon is down below. And I guess I will see you next episode. Bye!